What is up guys, Fredo Wani and welcome back to Storm of Spears. I believe this is part four. As you can see here, we got Sura, Belize, and Garog all on level six. Edrin on level five. Let's get straight back into it, guys. We are currently in the dagger fall area. We're going up a mountain top and we're gonna cat attack and kill everything. So in our last episode we took on a goal. Golath, which was just a weapon, which is a giant, gigantic robot. Uh, so yeah, but let's just get straight into this, guys. We did a little bit of exploring, uh, so this is moving the story on. We also got went and saw Adrian's uh, hometown, rocking up so he could visit uh, his wife and daughter's graves. He hadn't seen for such a long time, so we took a couple, a couple of little side quests as well. Nice. Let's have a look. Okay, we're no longer blind. Item, let's use a couple of uh I don't wanna use though so raises max spirit, needs max agility, I wanted you Use that. We do find a fair bit of those. So I want to use that just to heal up a little bit. So this is kind of like a little mazy area, but just kind of keep ourselves all healed up and everything. Uh, one thing I have noticed about this game, for those of you who are planning on playing this, like the blinding blight, which is what uh, Sura copped last time with the glasses. Uh, at the end of the fight, it pretty much disappears. Another thing that I'm really liking is that the females in this is the protagonist. Sura's now level seven, Edge is level six, seven, nice. Another treasure chest. Fragile scroll. What does that do? I wanna, is there like a sort button? No. Ah, oh, looks like it's already. Lowers defense. Alright. Nice. Yeah, I'm just moving my headphones a little bit, guys. Alright. So let's head. We came from. Well, I kind of just want to explore everything. Make sure I find everything that I can. And kind of get our levels up a little bit as well. So I just think, obviously, when you get your levels up a bit higher, it's always nice. We're not going to do anything that uses really MP, like uses our magic, and just at the moment, just because. Yeah, we're doing pretty well. Guy Rogue's now to level 7. Alright, let's go this way. Let's get this guy on here. This is probably going to be another very grindy type of episode, guys, just to let you guys know. Uh, because I do like. It. Oh, fuck. Two misses in a row. Like, come on, girls. Seriously. Don't leave it to all the boys. So he's on 130. I want to see how much health he actually gets back after each turn. Alright. What's it gonna happen? We had a clear water. Alright. Pressure! Big growth. Yeah, let's go. So, yeah. I, this is pretty much where I was up to uh, last time I got to this part here. So, yeah. Oh. 
hopefully no one got blind. Nice. It looks like Gyro got blinded. That's guard. Fate, strong prayer. Is on him and then Belize can attack. That should do it. Hopefully that doesn't kill him. Of course he missed. However Belize doesn't kill him. Nice. Cool. There we go. That's just all I wanted to heal him up, so. Oh fuck, he evaded! Yeah, I know, he. Gyrox pretty much blinded at the moment, so. Valise the beast! Valise is a beast, man, like, that's it. Next battle. So, one thing he. So, Edrin. Edrin's back up to full health already, nice. I think. That uh, the necklace is really good and works really well on him. I think I might give it to Gyrog next. Because they seem to target him a fair bit. Nice. But yeah, I might do that now. Give it to Gyrog. Equip Adrian. Quick, Oh, I can't give it to him. Hmm. I give it to the Valise. I can't. Quick, sir. I can't give it to anyone. I can only give it to him. Not that. That's fair enough. I, I understand why they've done that. You know, it's a family thing. Infantry Buckler, yes. Adria. Ooh. Actually, you know what? Can I give it to no. Equip to the Lees? No. I want I'm really trying to find what I can give to the Lees. Give it to him. Kind of just exploring here, guys. That's awesome. Just trying to take, get everyone nice and equipped up. And I, I think we got we got a fair bit of magic as well. So ah, oh, they're blinding it. Yes, it's already evaded. Oh, like a. 200, nearly a 200 crit! Gyrog! Beasting! Nice! I like it, Gyrog! I like it! Okay, nothing here, seriously? Ah, uh, the dead end! Three. His attack's going up slowly. 57. Nice. 64. It looks like Garb's becoming a bit of our tank man at the moment. But he's also getting his ass handed to him on a silver fucking flat. Come on, Valise. Yeah, I didn't expect you to. Oh, I want Valise, no! Seriously? Who the fuck did you guys all miss? Seriously guys, like come on guys. Seriously now. Ooh, Berserk Razor. Nice. Soul Clear. Release is level 8. Nice. So this I'm a, I'm further ahead now than what I was when I played last time. Alright. What's over here? Again, this way. Look for the creatures. Okay. Sword swing. Zerg. Okay. Uh, okay. Strong prayer. Strong Gyrog. Spirit. War cry. Sura. Spell. Done this. We're going to use all our spells today on this one. Oh, 
Oh! And a thunderstorm. And it didn't take it. And let's just finish it off. Done. So, like, you can tell, like, the war cry, the attack boost is really good. Oh, fuck yeah, Gyro got a new attack. We definitely gotta use that. Every time I see a new attack, I have to use it, guys. Like, I know. We gotta use that water attack. Now let's just attack with everyone else. Spell. Water blast! Okay. I want to see what water does to these guys. Ooh! No, uh, not a ton. Okay. We'll just attack normally now. I do like, I do get excited when I see new spells and shit. Oh yeah. I've just been fighting for like the last 10 minutes, man. Like, that's it. I do want to move on. Uh, and I know this is going to be quite a grindy episode, guys. So, please bear with me. This is just because I want to explore everything. You know, I want to make sure I haven't forgot something or anything like that. I didn't lose something. Ooh, it's over here. I go in the water. Right here. Oh, so it's like a whole new area. Anything over here? No. Alright, this is hitting it. Magpie's nest. Alright, I'll just continue on here. Bandit emerged. Ooh, I wonder. Sword swing. Bandit A. Faith. Let's have him attack. Please just attack. Gyrog, I want you to use the thunderstorm. Oh, he's barely alive. Okay. So it looks like a spell doesn't matter what, does always do, does about the same amount of damage. Okay. No, he belonged with the police. That's alright, you're dead. Oh, good. Uh, more treasures. Oh, I'm so tied up. I want a treasure. Give me treasure. But there's something I can have. Oh, the lace. I fucking do damage. Nice girl. I might have to heal the leaves up in a minute. But we're still going on. We're still going good. Battle my Ooh, that's gonna be Adrian all the fucking way. Oh yeah, Adrian, you're gonna like that. That's why you got hunting for shit. Oh, there's something there. I want it. Do I get to it? Do I have to come back down this way? No. I don't want that box. Give me that box. I'm not going to fight everyone. I'm just going to fight. Oh, go this way. That box too. Oh, what? There's got to be a way to get to it. Because I want it, and I'm going to do what I can to get it. Okay. 
kind of an explorey. Oh, here we go. We find Zeta. Ah, oh, just a rejuvenating mix. He also had with something new weapons. Oh, I should have done a heal. Oh, look at that. Oh, fuck, that was a big hit. Sura, attack, faith, strong prayer on Valise, and then everyone else attack. And kill him. Good luck. I know this is quite a grindy episode, guys, so please just bear with me. There we go. Okay, fight. Okay. Strong player. Heal her up. And then everyone else just go and find the nuts. Ah, you evaded. Heal her up. So that looks like Sura's been blinded. Nice. Done. Excuse me. So we're getting a lot of good levels here, guys, which is good. Oh, wrong way. Nectar. Take a rove. Like, I don't want to take up too much time with this just fighting. Ah. I was having to get around him without having to fight him. Oh. To raise one's ally spirit. Oh, okay. Alright. Let's just keep on going. I kind of want to get out of this part now. Move on to the next part. The question is where is the next part? It's just fights that we have to do, unfortunately. And he's done. Nice. Yeah, this is going to be a very grindy episode today, guys. I got no problem finding treasure and shit. 
But I kind of also want to kind of move on to story as well, you know? Because I feel like just watching me grind and beat up the same things over and over again gets kind of boring. And I know that's just kind of RPGs in a nutshell. Sometimes you just need to do that. And yes, I could probably run and not have to deal with it, but uh, yeah, you're not going to tell you no to free experience, basically. Especially if later on you're going to end up in like a boss battle or something, you know. You want to get those levels up nice and high. Alright, go to level 9. Minor tonic. That's a dead end. Hmm. Could this just be like one of those sections where it's just like I want that. Oh. There's no way I was getting out of that. This is just an area where you can go and just... I don't actually think this is a section where you can actually move on. I think this was just a grindy area. That's what I'm getting at. That's the kind of... Oh, tower! Ah, uh, yeah! You gonna fight the Earth Lord? Earth Lord emerge! Time to go in on the Earth Lord. There had to be something big here, and I'm kind of kind of happy that we kept going. Nice. Seventy-eight damage. So we got here, Adrian, attack, release. Use your war cry on Adrian, and then Gyrog, water blast. So what happened? 76 damage. Oh, 111, nice. Okay, that's it. Oh, tremor. That took, we took a bit of damage there. Took a, so it's, agility's gone down. Sword swing, let's go Viper Bite. Adrian Fade, strong prayer on her. We want War Cry on yourself and Gyro, just attack. Nice. Come on, Paralyze. Yes! We got the Paralyze. We got the Paralyze. That's good. That's what we wanted, guys. That's what we fucking wanted. Adrian, we want you to use. Actually, just attack. Valise attack. Oh, yeah, Valise comes in with the 147. Nice. Earth Ring was found. Earth Blade was found. Ooh. Please, Valise, can you take she can have the Earth Blade. Nice. Uh, equip. Nice. Adrian. Uh, oh, wait, that's just the. Uh, 
Cool values. Let's give her that. Equip uh, Adrian's got the necklace. Equip world. Let's leave it at that. Nice. Alright. Alright, so I got a feeling this is just an area where we can fight shit. And that's it, nothing else. So let's get on out of here and move on. Shit now, man. I'm looking forward to getting to like a. Uh... Please. Maybe it's a Sura. No. I'm just trying to find, you know, something. Got a rock. Oh, so. Of course, we're going here. Of course, he would want it. Let's see where we need to go. I want to get out of here by the end of this episode. You know what I mean? So, got a couple of minutes. Lost at the moment, guys. But obviously, I have no idea where I need to go. Hmm, that's just it. That's also a good reason why you take out everything while you're here. Because if you go there and there's no creatures, it means you've been there. It's because I've kind of stopped doing that. things a little bit harder, but that's alright. Oh, we're heading out. Here we go. Alright guys, so we'll keep going a little bit longer because this has been a very grinding episode. Alright, this is it. This is the spot. We will be able to sneak up on any wagon coming through the Merchant Road from here. Are you sure there will be one? Of course. Yes, a wagon will come eventually. This is the road to Brusque. The question is for how long we will have to wait, but it will come. All right, well, let's wait then. So we just gotta wait a little bit. <sighs> this is boring. You youngsters have no patience. What about the affair? Do they have any patience? I know that it's necessary to wait, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. This is boring. <laughs> I don't like that. He's just like, yeah, all right, fair enough. Shh, they're coming. Oh, yeah. Are you ready for this? Let's go. What the heck? Serenade and you won't be harmed. No way. I love it when they say that. Oh, yeah. We get to kick your ass now. All right. So, what we're going to do? Sura. Sword Swing. Berserk Razor. Adrian. Fight. Uh, let's cure Gyro because he needs it. Elise, you just do your thing. Spell. Oh, we can't use it. Damn it. Oh, wait. Elise. I, I know what I'm trying to do. Item. There we go. Oh yeah. Bang, 96, 92, take that. Nice. We can use a couple of attacks now. Well, they're all gone out the losing. 
Seriously? Why are you guys going after him for? Like, come on, guys. Thunder storm. Oh yeah, one down. Thunder storm. Take that, you asshole. Ooh, two down. Three down. Boom, boom, boom. And I'm shooting. Oh, he faded. That's not cool. Come on, finish him off. There we go. Oh, fucking the bastard still live. Take that, you asshole. And he's down. Nice. Alright. Red herb, red herb. Oh, damn, this is unexpected. So, no, you won't be harmed. Party. <laughs> yeah, you're funny. You say that like, as if we're meant to be scared. Alright. Alright, so let's just. Let's just go for the standard attacks. Let's see how it goes. It literally takes about two people attacking to. Oh, okay. So. We should be right. I don't see them actually destroying us. I don't see anyone actually dying either. Oh, that was a bit of a hit, but that's right. He's got the full health, so. Done. Nice. We leak it. So you think it's funny to attack the kingdom? Man, leak captain. Speaking of unexpected, let's just get this over with. Oh, yeah, we got the leak captain. Alright, let's go with Sword Swing, let's go with Berserk Razor, Faith, let's go with Strong Prayer, Hell of Release, Spirit Warcry on Sura, Gairog, use your spell of Water Blast on the Elite Captain. Let's go nuts! Oh yeah, you got the... Let's see. Boom! 164 damage, and then 181. Oh, that was some big hits. Four. Got some healings. That's nice. 23 damage. Okay. One forty. Nice. Seventy three. So it looks like similarly, the damage gets kind of pretty much double. Oh, all right. You got some magic and shit, huh? Took no damage, huh? Why did you take no damage? Let's just go no more attacking. There we go, and he's down. Nice, 80 elite edge. So he's now level 10? Everyone level 9. Nice. Well, I guess, I guess I'm getting too old for this. Come on, old man. Don't tell me you didn't like this excitement. Just like in the old days. Hmm? It was exciting. It felt like we were just kicking royal ass like we used to before the rebellion nonsense started. <laughs> Alright, let's go check on the weapons. Come on. So how, how is the wagon? It's got some useful supplies. Enough for a couple of months. Good. Now what about him? Still silent. Yes. He must be important. I bet the elite captain was here because of him. Hmm, wait a minute. That ring. I know that ring. I can't believe this. What is it, old man? You're freaking us out. This is Ferdinand. Prince Ferdinand. What? Are you sure about this? The ring. It's the royal ring. Only two people have one. Queen Liliana and her cousin, Prince Ferdinand. That would explain the elite guard. Alright, we have something good here. Let's make an example of it and show the king that we are not playing games. No. What? Why? Are you insane? We are not monsters. We are not the kingdom. No more blood will be shed today. He's giving us the science room. We will take him to the headquarters and discuss the matter with everyone. Prince, you're coming with us, whether you like it or not, so please don't resist. We don't want to harm you. Okay. Nice. Leaving Dagger Ridge here. 
I want you to know that it wasn't part of our plan to kidnap you. We didn't even know you'd be there at the road. But since you were, we now have to figure out what to do with you. But rest assured that we have no desire to harm you. I see. So I have to stay here as a prisoner, even though I didn't do anything to be treated as such. So you can't speak. You're not a prisoner. You can leave if that's what you want. But we're on dangerous ground here. If anyone sees you walking around all by yourself, then you will be in trouble. How much would they pay for your ransom, Prince? Believe it or not, you're safer here. Hmm. I like that. She's like, pretty much just it. You'll have to speak with Bernard about this. He'll probably know what to do. Yes, but we can't ask him to come in. It would be risking too much if the Prince saw him. You're right about that. We we'll need Bernard to remain free of any suspicion. Then we go to Cal. As long as we are cautious, we should be fine. Yes, but let's do it in the morning. This old man needs some sleep. Going into the city late at night to speak with Bernard would be very suspicious. Alright then. Let's have some rest. After all, we deserve it. Today was a good day. Boom. Alright, guys. Alright, guys. So... I'm going to call that part right there. It went a little bit longer than what I wanted, but it was a very grindy episode. So please bear with me. I hope you guys are enjoying this playthrough as much as I am. And as always, guys, smash that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And as always, I'm Freno One. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you next time with some more Storm of Spears. Peace.